can see in this live shot high above Zilker Park, the crowds already pouring in there. It is now two weekends of music, food, and fun, drawing thousands to Austin, all converging on Zilker Park. Dozens of bands set to perform. Some of them have already taken the stage, and this year the lineup includes Depeche Mode, The Cure, Lionel Richie, and Kings of Leon, just to name a few. The Orwells performed this morning, and the band Letitia Lee and the Black Ties are just now wrapping up. Kate Whitehall is live at Zilker Park with the details. Hi, Kate. Hey, good afternoon, Brian. You know, I think in the 10 years I've been covering the ACL Fest, this is the biggest noontime crowd I've ever seen. Behind me, the Samsung Galaxy stage, Wild Nothing, is uh, looks like they're wrapping up. Probably one of the biggest crowds I've seen in front of that stage for the 1115 performance ever out here. But check out this video because the lines were long before the gates opened at 11 o'clock this morning. As tradition, they always play the Star Wars theme and allow people to come on in and it's become a tradition though to watch people because they like to run in and run all the way across the Zilker lawn. I don't know how that tradition got started but it's always really fun to watch. Now a couple of new things for this year just so you know uh, there's going to be a craft beer tent for the very first time. Also you're not going to be able to find any single day passes. They're only doing three day and they have a new website to allow you to customize your experience here. New this year is also one of our web platforms, MyACL. You can tailor your entire festival experience from the bands that you want to see to things you want to eat, art vendors that you want to check out, um, and we can give you updates just on the things that you're interested in. Always lots going on, and wow, a whole nother band just took the stage over here at Bud Light. Wow. Um, it, just so you know, also, if you can't uh, come this weekend, you can always attend ACL next weekend. There are tickets available for next weekend. This weekend sold out. But Brian, as you probably know from years past, as you're walking into ACL, there are always people selling their wristbands or selling tickets. So there's always a way to possibly get in if you need to, right? There are always other avenues uh, to get into the festival there. And we see some people running toward the stage even as you speak. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, check out this crowd for noon. This is not normal. So, and I think, you know what, too, the cooler weather that's anticipated for this weekend probably just has a lot of people really excited and wanting to be out here, too. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of fun once you get to the festival. Not always so fun uh, getting to the festival. Uh, if you plan on driving to ACL, be careful where you park because you could get a ticket or even have your car towed away. KXAN Sophia Beausoleil has more. If you plan on leaving your car in a neighborhood that surrounds the ACL Festival grounds, you might want to think twice. There are tons of signs just like this one scattered around all the neighborhoods that surround Zilker Park. And these no parking tow-way zone signs will be up for the next week while ACL is happening. And the Barton Hills Neighborhood Association has put information on their website that lists the numbers and maps so that neighbors know who to contact if they have any issues. Now, we spoke with one neighbor who lives less than two miles from the festival grounds, and she says she always prepares for ACL by going grocery shopping the week before and running her errands. She told us while she loves the festival and thinks it's fun, it can sometimes bring unwanted visitors to the neighborhood. I'm concerned about the way that people treat our neighborhood when they're here parking and going to and from the festival. We've had problems with people parking too close to stop signs, close to fire hydrants, as well as people taking bathroom breaks in the bushes. I have no problems with people parking on the public street, and um, uh, I sometimes keep an eye out for uh, how people are parking so that they're not parking in a way that it takes up more room when they could park maybe a little tighter, you know, so more people could park. You're looking at the Rollingwood neighborhood right now. That's just across the Mopac Expressway. As police chief says, the crowds have become a safety concern during big events, just like ACL. 
because people block the streets and driveways. This year, uh, they've increased their permit parking, which means there'll be no parking signs everywhere, and residents will get four parking permits for their friends and families. But as you can see right here, some neighbors have taken it on their own, putting cones in front of their homes to make sure nobody parks there. We have more information on our website, kxan.com. If you would like to know where you can, can't park, and just how to navigate around everything in Austin this weekend. Reporting here in South Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Okay, a few reminders for you if you're planning to head out to ACL first. It is a non-smoking festival, but there are areas outside the park where you can smoke. And of course, you'll be allowed to re-enter. The Austin Fire Department and Emergency Medical Services will have a command center on site. And the city of Austin has all staff on hand for you to call 311 to answer any non-emergency questions that you may have.